Good afternoon everybody, time for another Brook Bucks update. Once again, my name is Jim, and this is where we talk about Lego investing and reselling. So myself, and I'm sure every person that has ever touched a Lego is very excited about this space shuttle, uh, the NASA Discovery Space Shuttle that will be uh, released April 1st. At first, when I heard that there was not going to be solid rocket boosters or the external fuel tank, I was a little bit up upset about it, but I'm going to be honest, they hit this out of the park. This right here is awesome. The size is awesome. This position right here is awesome. With the Hummel telescope displayed the way it is, I think this is just great. The display is great. I love how it, it has the Ultimate Collector Series sticker, plaque, whatever you want to call it, uh, right there. This is a work of art when i first heard that the shuttle was coming out i and it was going to be the discovery i said to myself well that's a shame i think it should be challenger uh which you know you have amelia Earhart, <laughs> and we all know what happened there so i really saw no reason why there shouldn't be the space shuttle challenger i, I mean it really is a, a learning tool if, if you were to have that and then you could have all the minifigs and, and all that stuff but they really did hit it out of the park i was kind of hoping that maybe they would have a john glenn minifig uh, because this is the space shuttle that john glenn uh, rode and i actually knew john glenn i maybe i shouldn't say i knew him i was an acquaintance of him i uh, he, he back whenever i lived in columbus him and his wife would come in uh, to starbucks quite often uh, and these people were the nicest people that you would ever meet. John Glenn is my favorite human. The stories he told me were wonderful. And his wife, Annie Glenn's, just in case you didn't know, her favorite Starbucks drink was a grande soy green tea frappuccino, double blended, no whip, but with a domed lid on top and one of those cardboard insulators. Uh, I always I always had a pleasure uh, making that drink for her. So I would like to talk about what kind of people will want to buy this. What kind of consumer is out there, right? There's people that love Lego that will want this. We know that. There's AFOLs, adult fans of Legos, that will want this. We're going to have people that are big into STEM and even STEAM to an extent that will want this uh, for their children. You're going to have space collectors not lego collectors but space collectors they and they have money folks don't don't forget that they have money when i went to uh falling water the actual falling water i actually used to live near there it, it was it was maybe an hour away uh from where i grew up but i went and, and i visited falling water and in the gift shop they had the falling water lego set it, it was around that time they were selling this lego set uh, for 125 and this set hasn't retired. So I guarantee you, you know, the the museum, the Smithsonian Museum where this this shuttle is uh, housed right now, I guarantee you there's, there's going to be thousands of people a year going in uh, to that museum and they're going to want to pick this up. So there is a huge amount of people that will want this set. There will be collectors that are young and they they're not collectors yet and they don't have any money yet 10 to 15 years from now they're going to want this this set so when it comes to the consumer base i would actually put this in the same category as uh starry night the set that ha is not released yet uh because it's it's the same type of people there's going to be lego fans there's going to be a fools there, there there's going to be you know steam and STEM parents that will want this for their children. And, and there's going to be all kinds of art collectors or, or wannabe art collectors that will want that set. So I put this in the same category as Starry Night. My only concern with this set when it comes to investing is how long this set will be on sale for. I mean, I pulled up this, the Apollo Saturn V rocket for a reason. We all know what happened there. I honestly don't see them shutting this set down and re-releasing it. I would not be surprised if this had the longevity as the Volkswagen T1 Camper, the Death Star that was on sale back around uh, 2012. I mean, I could see this set being on the shelves for the longest time. It might, 
I could be wrong, but I, I see a chance where this could be the longest running set in the history of LEGO. That's how popular I believe this set will be. Now, when you go to Amazon, you know, you could see and you just type up LEGO Space Shuttle. You could see that, of course, this isn't the first time that LEGO has done either a Space Shuttle or they have done LEGO sets that have a Space Shuttle theme to it. And they've all performed very well. This right here, of course, is uh, the last space shuttle they did, the, the Space Shuttle Expedition. I could be wrong. I think this was somewhere around 2011 w whenever they did this shuttle. And right here, if you, if you go to it on Amazon, uh, you can see that it's going for $940. And when you go to Camel, 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 I mean, it is off to the races. And here's the thing. When you look at this chart, I have religiously said... <laughs> You should not hold sets for five years, for 10 years, uh, for a long extended period of time. For those people out there that like doing that, this is probably that one set that you're going to want to do it to. There's going to be a lot of collectors out there. And the interesting thing is, you can see that this set, it looks like it just came close to touching a thousand dollars. And then it had a dip. Now it's at 940. This is probably around the time when there was rumors for a new space shuttle coming out. But it really didn't take that much of a dip because each space shuttle is, is somewhat unique. They have their own uh, name to it. But the performance on this uh, space shuttle expedition is awesome. Now right here, of course, is not a space shuttle, but is a, it is a LEGO City space shuttle themed type of set. This is the, uh, the LEGO City Spaceport. Most of the time, the LEGO City sp space shuttle themed sets do really well. If, if you go to Camel, 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 you will see, you know, as soon as it retired, it went boom. It, it was off to the races, right? Now, I do want to warn folks, you know, this does not mean that every space set does amazingly well. Lego Space, back when that was a theme where, you know, they had all the, the gray pieces, that really didn't do as well or perform as well as these sets right here. Those sets really didn't perform well, period. And I, I do want to share an example with you. This right here is the Lego movie. And I understand this is a Lego movie theme, but this does have a lot of strong elements to what Lego Space did. And this is, I would say, one of the last space sets that Lego has put out. It's only going for 248 right here. And if you look at Camel, 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 I mean, right here is a good chart. But you could see whenever it, it retired or there, there was no inventory in Amazon, third-party sellers were selling this for way low. And, you know, I kind of consider this similar to the Poe Dameron's X-Wing. You know, the Poe Dameron's X-Wing, the, the first X-Wing for the new trilogy that came out, that, for those of you that don't know, that is the number one set that I regret not buying. But that was also around the time where, you know, Benny Spaceship came out. And for those of you that were collecting back during Benny Spaceship, they could not give Benny Spaceship away. I saw entire aisles, not shelves, aisles in Target and Walmart where this set was lined up and they were selling it discounted. I think the lowest I saw it for was maybe $55. So if you were able to get it for $55 of right before it retired, you know, you may have came away. But you just can't compare this chart right here with the chart, the Space Shuttle Expedition. I mean, the, you just can't compare them. So, you know, just be mindful whenever you see space sets out there. You know, I would go for shuttle-themed city sets, and I would definitely go for uh, the, the Space Shuttle NASA sets. Now, the thing to keep in mind, I don't see this listed as a creator, but it kind of is, I would put in the same category as, as creator. There are some $150, $200 sets at some of the big box stores. So hopefully you're able to get your hands on these sets and stack discounts. You, you know, Target might eventually carry this and, and you could stack discounted gift cards or your red card or whatever promo is going on. So just keep that in mind. I'm definitely going to pick this up April 1st. I'm not going to pick up 
any more than one. And I'm really not going to look in, into collecting these and stacking uh, a ton of these until there's a whisper of this set retiring. Hope you enjoyed the video, my friends. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Once again, I'm Jim with BrickBucks.net. Always go out there and get it.